Peter, come on, get dressed. We're late for church. I don't want to go to church. I always feel like that priest has it in for me. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Butt of Christ. Ah, Lois, trade me. No. You're not wearing that to church, are you? What? Yeah, why not? This is what I always wear. She's right, man. It's Sunday. Get noticed. I'll be in the car. I'm getting tired of you wearing the same thing every day. I, look, that shirt's got a hole in it. I'd like to point out that Jesus wore the same thing every day, and you didn't hear Alice giving him a hard time about it. Oh? Wasn't that her name? Let's just get to church, and afterward, you're going to the mall to go clothes shopping. Well, you're coming with me. Last time I tried shopping without you, it was a disaster. Hey, I'm home. I got groceries. You what? Yeah, I was driving past there, and we were out of some stuff, so I... <laughs> You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing! <laughs> you always say I never do anything around here. Yeah, I like saying that more than I like you doing things. Dad, I got the rest from the car. We're... Chris, run! You were right. She didn't appreciate it. Oh, crap. Ow! That's right. I do groceries. <laughs> All right, even though we just walked in and this whole place is one hallway, let's consult the map. Okay. Uh-oh. I bet we can find you some new clothes in here. Hey, Lois, are you sure this place is for men? Yes, Peter, it's for everyone. Really? Because this, this kind of looks like a dress. Peter, it's fine. Come on out. Ah, you gay ball! Hang on, Peter. I'm gonna go look for a couple things for me in here. I'll be right back. Okay, Lois, I'll be right here, standing uncomfortably close to the unnecessary piano player in the middle of the mall. So, what's it like now that you've made it? Did you ever have a bank account full of pedestrians' disinterested smiles? You're amazing. I'm gonna sit Indian style on top of your piano. There aren't enough verses in any song I could write that would express how much hatred I have in my heart. You talk like a book. Hey, Lois, how about we try Sears? They got good stuff. Peter, nobody's been in Sears for decades. Oh, come on. When I was a boy, we always used to go clothes shopping at Sears. Trust me, they'll have everything I need. What the hell happened here? Look out! He wants to know who you are. We seek clothes for the cold times. He says he'll take you to the clothes for herbs and meat. Well, we can probably come up with some herbs and meat, right, Peter? Peter? I'm with them now. No girls allowed. <laughs> See, Lois, now this is more like it. And what the hell? I want this button. It's the same size I always get. Maybe you put on a few pounds, sweetie. Lois, I weigh the same 293 pounds today that I weighed in grade school. Perhaps it's this lump on the side of your neck, sir. Oh, my God, Peter. How long have you had that thing? I don't know. We gotta go see Dr. Hartman right away. Oh, my God. What if it's something serious? That's right. All right, we'll be in good hands with Dr. Hartman. He had my reassignment surgery. I think emotionally, I've always been a lizard, you know? And now I feel comfortable, finally, in my leathery, scaly skin. Kids, if you need me, I'll be making rapid, darting glances.